Welcome to No Longer Conformed, my online preaching and teaching ministry. We're studying the book of 1 Corinthians, Serve in Unity. In this session, we'll be looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and the third part of verse 4. Love is humble. Let's uh, read that larger passage of verses 4 through 7 get our context beginning chapter 13 beginning with verse 4 love suffers long and is kind love does not envy love does not parade itself is not puffed up does not behave rudely does not seek its own is not provoked thinks no evil does not rejoice in iniquity but rejoices in the truth bears all things believes all things hopes all things, endures all things. No one enjoys being pushed around by those who are arrogant. When it comes to relationships, pride tends to repel people, not attract them. Pride has an extremely destructive effect on relationships. In Paul's description of love, in our our verse for today, our text, of uh, the third part of verse 4, he makes it clear that pride and love are incompatible. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up. When applied to relationships, the apostle's statement provides insight into the character of pride and gives instruction on how to stop it from damaging your loved ones. First, guard against both sides of pride. There is no common ground for pride and love. They cannot coexist in healthy relationships. Pride operates two different ways. First of all, there's an external expression of pride, does not parade itself. This, this phrase pictures an attitude of self-promotion or boasting of one's success, we can easily recognize this side of pride. We all know or have met someone that exudes an air of superiority. There's also an internal attitude of self-importance is not puffed up. Some people nurture pride inwardly this inward inflation is condemned four times by Paul in 1 Corinthians. In chapter 4, verse 6, that none of you may be puffed up on behalf of one, one against another. Uh, in chapter 4, verse 18, some are puffed up as though I were not coming to you. In chapter 5, in verse 2, and you are puffed up in have not rather mourned. And in chapter 8, verse 1, knowledge puffs up, but love edifies. A person may wear the outward facade of love or even have a pretense of love, but on the inside, he can be preoccupied with self. Second, recognize the characteristics of pride. In relationships, Pride often hides behind a mask. Either inward or outward, pride is usually attempting to hide insecurity. Pride may be masked with perfectionism. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 4. A haughty look, a proud heart, and the plowing of the wicked are sin. Few people would admit they are perfectionists, but... Their actions betray them. They look out for themselves first, must be and have the best, are always right. No one can live up to their standards and relationships are trophies for show. Pride may also be masked with control. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 19. I will break the pride of your power. I will make your heavens like iron and your earth like bronze. 
They dominate their home. They must have things their way and use intimidation to reach a goal. They demand special treatment and like to throw their weight around. Or pride may be masked with criticism. Proverbs 13, verse 10. By pride comes nothing but strife, but with the well-advised is wisdom. Pride can appear as a pseudo-humility, but that's just another form of pride. Humility is the absence of self, and acts of criticism are often expressions of pride. They blame others for their problems, are seldom satisfied, refusing to admit personal failure. They belittle others by behaving rudely without kindness. And third, move away from the path of pride. How do we overcome this threat in relationships? Well, humility alone is the antidote for pride. However, humility requires several actions. First, you need to admit your imperfections. Proverbs 16, 18, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. James tells us to confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. In James 5, verse 16, defer to others. Romans 12, verse 10, the second part of it. In honor, giving preference to one another. In every relationship, the individuals possess strengths, and weaknesses. Humility helps us defer to each other when needed. Third, show mutual respect. Romans chapter 12, the first part of verse 10. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love. Jesus demonstrated both humility and love. In his letter to the believers at Philippi, Paul records that he humbled himself. In chapter 2, verse 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and of those on the earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Think about that and you have a great day.